breaking news and weather authority. This is News 10 First at Four. Hi everyone, we are following breaking news today about the FBI's decision to take another look at Hillary Clinton's emails just days before the presidential election. In a letter to Congress, the FBI director says new emails have recently come to light, emails that may have contained classified information. Now, so far, no word from the Democratic nominee who spent nearly an hour or half an hour on her plane after landing in Cedar Rapids, Iowa this afternoon, and then dodged reporters' questions when she got off. Take Take a listen. Secretary Clinton, any reaction to the FBI investigation? Have you been in touch with the FBI? Secretary Clinton, any reaction to the FBI reopening the investigation? Now, as you can see, Clinton got into her car without making any comments. Then she headed to her rally, but didn't make any mention about the new investigation while speaking to supporters. The State Department did answer questions today, saying it is still working to learn more about the investigation and will work with the FBI if asked. We're just at the point here where we're trying to figure out what these emails uh, even pertain to, uh, uh, whether they're relevant to her time as Secretary of State. Can't make any assumptions at this point uh, that they are, uh, but they may be. As much as they are, we'll certainly seek to uh, work with the FBI if they ask us to. Now, Donald Trump is praising the FBI's decision to take another look at Clinton's emails. Trump told supporters at a rally in New Hampshire that the election, quoting now, may not be as rigged as he thought, and perhaps justice will be served after all. Hillary Clinton's corruption is on a scale we have never seen before. We must not let her take her criminal scheme into the Oval Office. I have great respect for the fact that the FBI and the Department of Justice are now willing to have the courage to right the horrible mistake that they made. A U.S. official says the emails are not from Clinton's private server. At this time, it is still unclear if the probe means the FBI is going to reopen the criminal investigation that they closed back in July. We, of course, will keep you posted. We also have an update on this morning's breaking news about a double murder suicide in Lansing. Neighbors tell us they are shocked and saddened after learning such a thing took place so close by. Lansing police say 29 year old Latoy Tate and 25 year old Xavier Dean were shot and killed by 28 year old Marcus Osby at a home on Truman Circle where Tate and Dean lived. Neighbors say it's a shock in what's always been a quiet neighborhood. It's a, it's a bit unreal, you know. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know the, the people that lived there very well at all. You know, I didn't see them very much. But uh, you know, just to have it happen right next door is, you know, not something that you think is ever going to happen to you. Police say Tate had three children, two of which were fathered by Osby. Fortunately, none of the children were home at the time of those murders. Police have yet to release a motive, but we, of course, will be tracking the story in the coming days. And we also want to update you on a story we reported earlier this week. Police have arrested three people for vandalizing a soldier's memorial near Grand Rapids last weekend. The Kent County Sheriff's Office says a 17-year-old boy and two men from Cedar Springs were arrested yesterday. The replica rifle, helmet, and dog Dog tags taken from the Timothy Brown Monument at Memorial Park have been recovered and are intact. Army Specialist Brown was killed by a roadside bomb in Iraq back in 2005. Police believe the suspects are also responsible for other thefts and vandalism in that area.